Okay, let's go. This is a trip where I take my Polo GTI from Copenhagen, Denmark, all the way to the Nürburgring. That is uh, about 1,000 kilometers, and um, I start out by driving on this electric skateboard all the way to my genius Polo here. And uh, yeah, great, great machine overall, I must say. To say at least, it uh, was a trip without any hiccups whatsoever. It was uh, perfectly smooth sailing on the way. Oh my god, me, I don't know. Okay, so aside from this smaller incident, we were on our way. Onto the Danish motorway, over the bridge and onto the autobahn. A quick lunch stop and uh, we were on our way again. Down through Germany and now onto the small roads. From here I filled up the car one last time. And now we were not far from the wing. It was really late when I arrived to the ring, so I decided to sleep instantly. You'll see where I slept in a few minutes. <laughs> Nürburgring. We're back, baby. We're back. <laughs> okay, after a perfectly smooth sailing... Oh my god. ...from Denmark, in the Polo, down to this place. After the trip, I figured, okay, where can I sleep, where can I sleep, because... It was getting very late, and after fixing the car, I managed to find a place. I actually slept right here. Now the mission is to get some breakfast. I'll go into a hotel and maybe ask if I can join their breakfast party. Look at these two, GT4 and a M3 just cruising by. Amazing stuff. <laughs> it's so fucking insane down here. I miss this place. <laughs> uh, it's it's good to be back. And with the polo, <laughs> we're gonna make some fucking work on this track. Okay, to tell you how the trip went in the polo, I went from Denmark and everything was smooth sailing until I got to Hamburg. And in a Hamburg, <laughs> Um, there was obviously, obviously a lot of um, a lot of stau. Just basically a, a lot of people cocked up in traffic. So then I got to the point where I looked down at my temperature gauge and I saw it was rising a lot. It was the most stressful thing I ever tried. This is the worst. Looking at the temperature temperature gauge, looking at the traffic, looking at the temperature gauge, and. It was basically just boiling over. But luckily, traffic ended and we could move on and I got some air in the car again, or on the car. At this point I was like, yeah, this car is definitely, it's definitely gonna be a challenge to make it to the Nürburgring. So I went off the highway, found a small uh, workshop, and I asked the workshop what could be the problem on the Polo. And the first workshop said, it's Friday, mate. In five minutes we're gonna getting beers and they appointed me to a, um, another workshop that maybe could help me. And this guy over here, of course, only spoke German, and I, I tried in my best German. So, uh, so him. But he found that there was a fuse that was broken because the fan wasn't spinning when the car was like running at 90 degrees. So he got me a new fuse. It luckily had one that fitted the car. It was a five euro fix. <laughs> Amazing. So we were on our way. Hopefully it will be more smooth sailing on the track. I think so because there's no stau, or there's no traffic like when you're holding still. And the temperature seems to be okay when you're just, if you're pushing it or if you're going like over 50 kilometers an hour. So <laughs> let's see.
what you we've got yellow flags. Say, just want to push. Push the polo. The ring polo is back on track.
series. I hope you enjoyed this lap around the ring. It was really fun to do and I think I will do more of these videos in the future where I speak a bit over the video and make it more storytelling in some way. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you in the next one.